In the early 1900s, American citizens generally did not recognize the extent of the atrocities of child labor. American reformer and photographer Lewis Hine expanded the consciousness of the general population to the exploitation and detrimental abuse that children in America were confined to through his photography. Hine was the driving force that pushed the American child labor reform movement in the United States. In the late 1700s and early 1800s, the United States was in an era known as the Industrial Revolution, which was a time period when American industries abandoned the domestic system and shifted towards the factory system. In the early decades of the 19th century, children became a key asset in the workforce as there was a higher demand for workers in factories and in the fields. As a result, children's education became a second priority. This became an essential part of the American family's lifestyle because families were unable to survive without an extra income that their children created. Instead of enjoying their childhood and getting an education, the children of the early 1900s were forced to spend their childhood working in unsafe factories for an excruciating amount of hours. Thousands of children worked in a variety of different specializations, including mines, fields, factories, and even on the streets selling newspapers. Lewis Hine used the art of photography to capture those imprisoned by child labor. Founded in 1904, the National Child Labor Committee was established with the goal of promoting the rights, awareness, dignity, well-being, and education of children and youth as they relate to work and working. In 1907, Hine received his first assignment from the committee which was to photograph child labor conditions in mines, mills, and factories. A year later, the committee hired him as a staff photographer. With the financial support received by the National Child Labor Committee, Lewis Hine was able to reach and impact a greater demographic. The years 1890 to 1913 became known as the Progressive Era. This era notably includes attempts of influential thinkers and activists to improve the United States society through reforms both legislatively and socially. The emerging factory system was a primary concern of the progressives. They saw the factory system as highly dangerous, providing little or no protection to employees. Therefore, progressives were major supporters of Lewis Hine and his work. At first, Lewis was able to enter the factories easily. Yet, once his reputation and his purpose became well known, he often had to infiltrate the factories under disguise. Multiple times, he was forced to go undercover in these factories because if anyone knew his identity, he would be thrown out of the factories. Factory owners became resistant to Lewin's Heinz photography and the progressive movement because they were at risk of losing employees and it could harm their production rates. In 1916, the United States Congress passed the Keating Owens Act in response to Hines' photographs. This law established child labor standards, including minimum age of 14 for workers in manufacturing and 16 for workers in mining, a maximum workday of 8 hours, prohibition of night work under the age of 16, and documentary proof of age. This was one of the first legal steps made against child labor but 
This law was proved to be unconstitutional, meaning that the government was resistant to the movements made as a result of Hines' photos.